Okay, this is my uh, mag loop that I built out of mostly scrap material. The only only thing that uh, wasn't recycled was the copper tubing. That's 11 feet of 3 8 copper tubing. Okay, the detail on it here. Um, Faraday loop is made of um, RG8X on recycled porcelain insulators. Um, give you some reference here. Here's my hand, and that's the loop. So you know it's it's about hand size. Uh, up at the top where the capacitor is, is you can see on two of those recycled porcelain insulators and a hose clamp, no soldering, a hose clamp up there to hold the bare end of the cap, the coax, uh, inner conductor of the coax that makes uh, the capacitor. All this is recycled, um, you know, it's wood on a wood post, it ain't pretty, but it works on 30 meters. And if I didn't have, uh, you know, my 30 meter dipole, I would probably, you know, I probably could get by with this. Um, you know, this is a great antenna for, if you wanted to be stealthy, stealthy, you could have this inside or low to the ground outside when you wanted to use it. Uh, variable cap would make it great. Over there, as for comparison, is, you know, uh, my R5, very obtrusive antenna. Your neighbors definitely know you've got it. Uh, same goes for the, my uh, 102 foot doublet and this Antron antenna. I mean, you know, people know you've got these things when you've got them up, but this antenna is perfect for uh, stealth or for operation where you can't have an antenna outside. Uh, you know, if you're in an apartment environment or something, uh, you can run these indoors. People run them effectively indoors, so, uh, and that can get you on the air. Uh, I'm making this for. Uh, Google Plus consumption um, for some uh, interest that was shown in this antenna is all. Uh, it's no great thing, it ain't pretty, and I'm no expert at this stuff, so uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, 73 ZDE KC6 KGE.